We thank our gracious host, President Paul Kagame, the people and the government of the Republic of Rwanda for their legendary hospitality in this beautiful and spotless city of Kigali. They tell us that it's a country of a thousand hills, a thousand smiles, and a million opportunities. Welcome to Kigali for those who don't uh, live here. We, Rwanda, are are honored uh, by the presence of our brothers and sisters from the continent uh, for this very, very important summit, very timely summit in many ways. You are an inspiration to all of us. You understood that freedom is indivisible. There cannot be freedom for men without freedom for women. Get a very large attendance by the heads of states from Africa. All of them recognize the efforts made in Rwanda and the leadership of President Kagame in uh, actually leading the effort of uh, bringing ICT to our children, ICT to our governments, and ICT to the countries. It's not my first time in Kigali, and each time I, I, I come here, um, I'm, I, I feel very proud to be an African because of you know, the hospitality. Um, the smiles, you know, on every, on the face of everyone, and the way people work hard here, and uh, and uh, appreciate that uh, we are going to build our own continent. Nobody's going to build it for us. So I always feel very inspired uh, when I come to Rwanda. Eu gosto muito de Kigali. Fiquei muito impressionado com a cidade está a crescer. A última vez que eu cá estive foi em 2004 e de 2004 até 2016 é impressionante o crescimento da da cidade, muitas infraestruturas, creio que é um bom exemplo para o continente africano. An important change in the decision to organize this summit in a way that allows Africa to concentrate on its priorities with fewer distractions in the corridors and lobbies leads us in this regard to wish to thank the chairperson of the summit, President Idris Deby, and the chairperson of the commission, Dr. Zuma, for the business-like manner in which they have managed this process from the beginning. Africa! Thank you, Africa.